Now, if you're getting into the crypto space and you're starting to trade, you're buying into all of these coins, Bitcoin, altcoins, whatever it might be, you may be finding yourself trading and losing money. What I personally like to do is earn the cryptocurrencies, whatever it is. For me, myself, I'm a state pool operator in the Cardano ecosystem and I earn ADA for doing so. And recently, a lot of you have joined me on this mining adventure on the Midnight blockchain, which is launching very, very soon, mining the night tokens on the scavenger mining event. And that was, I have to say, a lot of fun. If you got a lot of details out of my videos about that, please make sure you hit the thumbs up, the like, subscribe, notification bell. And of course, I've got a lot more videos about mining how you can earn cryptocurrencies. But this is what I'm doing at the moment. I just got myself one of these little tiny devices. This is a Nerd Miner. This is the Nerd V2 and allows me to mine Bitcoin. So the original cryptocurrency there. And you know, if I had this device back when Bitcoin launched, I'll probably be earning a lot of BTC. But as it is now, this thing here, it's pretty low powered. It doesn't provide that many hash rates. Uh, to the network to be able to mine a Bitcoin on its own. But this little thing here allows you to do what's called solo mining and mining on your own. And there may be a chance of mining that Bitcoin, that block and earning 3.125 Bitcoin if you do. At today's current price, the market is a little bit depressed. You could earn 270,000 US dollars for mining that block. And you know, the odds are for mining on this solo miner is better than winning the lottery at the moment. So why not? I bought one of these devices off eBay for under 70 Australian dollars, and it's just going to sit on the shelf back behind me, uh, mining away. And if I'm lucky, sure, I'll earn uh, that block rewards and earn some BTC. But you know, overall, it's a cool little device just to have there in the background showing that, you know, you're part of the Bitcoin network. And if you just change the screen here, it is a touch screen, which I thought was pretty cool. It turns it into a digital clock. Then you touch it one more time and it is a ticker for all of the prices on various uh, cryptocurrencies that you can figure out for. So there it's got BTC, ETH, BNB, Sol, Litecoin, XRP, ADA and Doge. And I believe you can also configure it for other things as well. But I thought this thing was absolutely fantastic. And it will, like I said, sit on the shelf behind me. Now, setting it up, putting it together, it comes disassembled. So there is a little bit of work to put it together. But, you know, this is a type of thing I like. I like tinkering with things, making them better, playing around with it, breaking things, et cetera, et cetera. Now the software configuration isn't too hard either. You just have to connect to it via its Wi-Fi network. Then once you're in, configure it for your home Wi-Fi network, put in your BTC wallet, and then can configure it to the pool that you want to mine, or contribute your hash rate to for the mining rewards. So overall, I thought it was a pretty easy process. So if you wanna try and get one of these yourself and do some solo mining, I'll put affiliate links down below so you can purchase one yourself there on Amazon. Alibaba and on eBay. So lots of ways that you can get hands on them. The other really cool thing about the devices is that it is open source. All the code, all the software, all the hardware is available online and you can buy all the bits and pieces. You can upgrade them, even 3D print cases for them. It's all open sourcing. And you can say that you're mining Bitcoin at home. Not many people can say that. Now the power usage for this, I know the Bitcoin network, a lot of people are worried, uh, is it gonna pull on a lot of power at home? This thing won't, this, this runs less than one watt of power uh, from the mining operation and it runs off like a, a little phone charger brick, which is a five volt charger. So very low powered, you plug in your USB-C cable to that and away it goes. So it's very extremely low power usage because it's not doing a lot of hash hashes on this particular device. So overall, I thought it's a pretty cool experience and being able to say that I've joined the Bitcoin network and started mining is another really cool thing to do. Now I've got a lot more videos. I've got the video coming up, setting up my Igon node back there, that device. Let me just get it for you. 
here is what is really is coming next. I'll be setting up this particular device here. This here allows me to join the Igon network and provide decentralized storage to the network. And I get to be a part of that and uh, earn the rewards off the network. So this is what I'm really excited about with the Igon, uh, Igon node that I've got, the Cyclone. And like, subscribe, notification bell, you get updates about that when I put that video out. I just got to get the hard drives for it. And I want, I want to get a good one. So it's going to cost me a little bit to get up and running with this particular device, but I'll get there very soon. Now, if you enjoyed my videos in general, if you got something out of it over the last week or so, when we're going through all this uh, midnight mining, make sure you hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, notification bell. I've got different ways to support me as well with all of these videos here, are these links here, I should say, for Buy Me A Coffee, Patreon, and YouTube memberships down below. Anyone that has already supported me and bought me a coffee, especially for that consolidation tool, absolutely fantastic, guys. I love the support. I'll see all you guys in the next video.